Hi, my name is Kaylee from Kaylee's Cards, and today I have, um, I think it's a really cool project using the envelope punch board. It is a card holder. So this is the card holder. Um, it looks pretty simple at the moment. What I'm going to do is add some tabs um, and decorate this up. But I'm going to do a separate video for that because I don't want it to be too long. So basically to make this is you kind of want to make um, a big like a 3D envelope. And this is a this is a card holder for the notelet size, which is the cards and envelopes that I use most often are the ones in the Stampin' Up! catalogue. Um, it's easy to make a C6 or A6 version, you just need 12 by 12 cardstock. But I'll put the measurements for that on the blog as well. So you want to take your um, envelope punch board and you want to take um, some cardstock that's 8 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter. The measurements for this one um, are you want to punch and score at 3 and 1 eighth. And then you want to punch and score at four and one eighth. And as before, you just line up your score line, punch and score. Line up, punch and score. Now I want to have six um, envelopes in the box, so basically, um, one box for every two months. So I've already done four and I'm just going to do the final two. And again, line up at three and one eighth, punch and score. Four and one eighth, punch and score. Now with this, um, you can just make one and it makes a really nice holder. You can fit about um, four cards and envelopes in and then it just makes a really nice gift for somebody rather than giving them a present you can just give them a few cards Ooh. what am I doing? there we go so line up, punch, score And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my stamping trimmer and I'm going to cut off one edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up and cut off one whole tab, that whole section there. I'll do that again. And you want to be cutting off the long side and as before we're just going to fold um, all of the score lines and this just creates our box and if you wanted to make um, this a card holder for the year you want to make six of these As you can see, you can kind of get into factory mode with this, and um, it doesn't really take too long to put them together. I mean, especially if you're putting them, if you're giving them as a gift, you probably want to spend a little bit more time and decorate them. Um, but because they're all going into one box, and then you want to take these little, the little squares and just create them into tabs. And all we're going to do is add a little bit of glue to these squares and fold them in. So we're just creating a nice um, box really. And then I like the big triangle to be in the middle. I'm not holding this for long enough so let's just give it a few seconds there we go um, so I just apply a little bit of glue on the edge and fold in 
Now you do want to check that you're keeping the same width at the top and the bottom because you can fold it in too much and it'd be like that. So there's your envelope. To do the same for this one. And I've left my phone on and I'm getting a lot of messages right now so something's going on. I think. This Tombow is fantastic. You really do, you do need to just give it a tight hold. Um, and then that's it, it's stuck. So there we go. And I am going to just show you how to make the base. Um, I will put the measurements, but obviously it, it's the base is to fit six, so you can play with the measurements um, to create for a different amount. I mean, you could just have three. So here you go. I've now got my box and I've done them all in the 2013 to 2015 ink colours. And you could have them going that way so you have a big, I like them all going the same way. And all I've done is just decorated the box with some DSP and some matching twine. Um, but I am going to decorate and put some tabs on these. Um, I'll just show that in some pictures or I'll do another video to show how to decorate it. Like I say, I don't want to make this video too long. So now what I need is to get another piece of cardstock that's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And what I need to do is score at one and seven, one and a quarter on each side. And this is just going to make a standard box. And you just want to fold all the score lines. I, um, this, I said, this is boxes to fit the notelets in. Um, they're the card sizes that I use the most anyway. They're a little bit smaller, I think it's by about an inch, um, than A6 or C6, but I just find them easy to use. And also, when you make the boxes at them, you only need to use A4 paper, which I love. I do have lots of 12x12, but I do like to stick to A4. Just personal preference, I think. So all I'm doing is I'm cutting a little slither off each tab, just so it um, sticks nicer. And all I'm going to do is apply glue to my tabs and assemble to make a box. You really don't need too much glue. And you just decorate this box however you want. You could leave it plain because it's all coordinating cardstock. It um, does look nice anyway. So you can just add your um, envelopes to it. And there you go. And these, your cards, just, just grab a card from behind me. Um, they just fit in nicely. And obviously you've got room for your envelopes. And these just look really nice and pretty on the shelf. So thank you very much for watching. I'd love to see um, what you come up with. Um, I'll try and get a decorated version put up. So thank you so much for watching and have a good evening.